What is up RPG Maker people? Today I'm just going to be walking you through how to add enemies and troops to your map so you can actually encounter them. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go up to our system settings and we're going to go over here to enemies. You're going to have to add enemies and then add them to troops and then put your troops on the map. So we got to create an enemy. First thing we need to do is change the maximum. So I'm just changing it by one so I can add one enemy. You give them a name and let's find an image first before I name them. Uh, Cerberus, that's fine. So we'll call them Cerberus. Hmm. Max HP. Give them whatever you want. It depends. I have everything set up right now to where my character starts off level one in a very low level. So I'm going to give them the attack of 18. You got to give them a high enough attack or they'll do zero damage to your player when they try to attack you. Uh, and I set it all up to the minute. Let's see 18, 10 defense. It's fine. 15, 16. So we'll change that to 15 and 16. Psh. Minotaur, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, that's fine. So now we have this Cerberus set up, and you can give them traits. So their hit rate, 95%, evasion rate, 5%. Their attack element is physical. The rewards, if you defeat them, you can have, say, 10 XP. Or, 10 XP, have them drop, let's say, 5 gold. And now you can have them drop items, weapon, or armor. So you can have them drop a potion. And the probability, so if I say 1 out of 10, so there's a 1 out of 10 chance that they'll drop a potion. And we'll say weapon, sword. 1 out of 10 chance that they'll drop a sword. And psh, magic water. 1 out of 10 chance that they'll drop a magic water. Okay. Now you can have other stuff here in their actions. So like dual attack. They can do a double attack randomly. And that's what the rating is. So this is 5. So if I minus 2 from 5, it says right here, the one with the highest rating will be the standard. And the one within two rating points of the standard will be used. Actions one rating point away will be used two-thirds of the time. So if I had the rating for a dual attack as four, it would be used two-thirds of the time. All right, so we got him set up and we want to fight him, but we can't do that unless we make a troop out of him. So we go over into the troops tab and we change the maximum to six. Sorry, I have my FPS counter on for steam. Now we can go over here and name the troop Cerberus and we can just add him we can drag him anywhere we want right there right there right there we can align him again if we get him too far out of the way and you could add more than one so now there's two Cerberus so I'll just say times two now a really cool cool thing here is you can add conditions and events that happen during your uh, battle. So condition right here is don't run, blah, blah, blah. So we'll say turn. So at turn zero, it's going to show text and say time to perish. Alright, so let's grab our actor's face. So as soon as we start the match, he's going to come in and say, time to perish. And now you can do stuff like this. We'll do a new event page. So this is also going to happen if a condition is met. And the condition will be uh, enemy HP Cerberus 50% or below. We'll just show a text and say, halfway there. Exclamation point. Again, grab our actor's face, put it right there. Do a new event page. We can, for the actor HP, 50% or below, we can say 
another text. I need to turn this uh, this around fast. I'll put his face on there. So he can say, I need to turn this around fast. And if his health goes below a certain point, you could also like tint the screen. So we'll say actor HP below 25% or below. And we could just go in here to tint screen, change it up to a little red or Sapia. We'll just choose Sapia. So now that would span over the course of the battle or the curse of the turn, or the moment. So it can stay like that the whole battle, stay like that for just the turn, or just stay like that for a moment. Uh, we will try moment and see what that does. So now we have a condition. So at turn zero, our actor is going to say time to perish. At turn two, enemy HP minus less, than, uh, less than or equal to 50, we're going to say halfway there. HP for the actor less than or equal to 50. We're gonna say I need to turn that around. I need to turn this around quick. And then less than 25% or equal to, it tends to screen to a different color to let you know. Now up here you can also change the background. So right now I have desert and desert cave. You could also just change it any way you want. But I have desert and desert cave. We're not desert cave. I have desert and desert. I was looking at dirt cave. All right, so that's how you add a troop. You can add as many troops as you want with different enemy types on there. I could add a orc, minotaur, slime, bat, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we have our enemy set up. We have our troops set up. Now we want to battle them on the map. So you go over here to your map. And let's remove the minotaur. Now. We choose our troop, it's in here now, Cerberus times two. Now this is the weight. The weight's like how frequently you're gonna encounter the troop. So I think one is less frequent and more than that is more frequent. So let's set it to 10 and let's see. And we're gonna specify the region as the entire map or you could specify by region ID, so certain spots in the map. All right, so he's there, he's like that. Let's hit play. All right, now we're gonna run around. So, and we encounter him. All right, Cerberus emerged, Harold was surprised. Now he says time to perish. Turn this down. All right, attack, uh, magic. So he just got them halfway down in health. So now he says halfway there. I'm gonna attack Cerberus one. So I'm halfway down now. So I need to turn this around fast. And there we go. 20 XP received, 10 gold found because there were two of them, so I got 10 XP each, and they both dropped uh, five gold, so I got 10 gold. All right, now that should get you started with adding troops and monsters to your maps. Uh, some people, you know, don't exactly know. It's not simple and pointed out as how to do this, so I hope this helped you. If it did, hit the like button, let other people see this, and good luck on your game dev adventures. Thank you.